Hi guys, welcome back to the train layout. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you all. It is going to be of four very expensive passenger cars, and I ordered from a place I had never ordered before. And I ordered from modeltrainstuff.com. And you're probably wondering why there is a Digitrax manual on the box. It's to hide my address, obviously. Their shipping is very, very, very fast. And they were already making me happy. I ordered this on Tuesday and it came on Thursday. Now let's get into the unboxing. Now what I ordered from modeltrainstuff.com are considered expensive. For the price I paid per car, I think it's pretty fair for the manufacturer of the car as well as the level of car. When I say level, I mean less detailed, detailed, and extremely detailed, to put it in perspective. Now one manufacturer comes to mind when I said those three tiers. Now as we open the box, Everything is packed so nicely. We got a bunch of bubble wrap. And boom, here they are. I like how they added the rubber band so I can just pick it up like a handle, like so. As long as you're careful and not drop them. So, if you guessed Walters, you are correct. I bought four Walters Proto Amtrak Amfleet 2 59 seat passenger cars. The reason for this purchase, I know I don't really have to give a reason why I bought these, was to replace these cars. And as you can probably tell from the state of the boxes, they've been with me for a while. So what I had to learn the hard way with these uh, cars, and you've seen these cars before on my run buys of mostly the Silver Meteor and such. These two cars, their trucks warped and the, and the wheels literally keep falling out. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, it's time for them to get replaced. It's sad, but that's how it has to go. And I'm surprised these cars were not in the Proto line also, because it's also a plated finish, and the there are separately applied details like lift rings and handlebars, things like that. I know that's probably not what they're called, but yeah. But they put them in the regular Walters. But hey, they look nice. Now let's get to the unboxing of these guys. And I'm just going to unbox one because it's literally going to be the same. So let's unbox it very carefully. So, the contents you get in the box obviously are the car itself and the exploded parts diagram, which I'll show you really quick. Feel free to pause if you need to. And on the other side is a list of parts. And 
and decal placement for the respective phases. Phase 3, Phase 4, and Phase 4B. So yeah, let's take a look at the model. Okay, when I refer to this car, I'm going to refer the end with the Amtrak logo, the A end, and the end with the boarding door as the B end. So looking at the B end of the car, we have the door diaphragm, the actual door with the window, we have the Protomax coupler, we have separately applied grab irons. I'm going to assume these down here are step ladders. Then we have the MU cables, connection area. We have the boarding door right here. We have the crisp lettering. I'm going to assume this one up here says welcome and this one says coach class. And this one is the handicap symbol. And then we have the car route number. I will explain that in the next shot when I give you a better view on the side. As I give you a better view of the side of this car, we have the truck detail down here with the silver wheels here. Now I believe this is the car route number because usually they will assign the car a number just like a bus and that number will be on your ticket and you just find the car. This number is not going to be the same number as the number given to it when manufactured. And as you can see, the shade of blue and the red and white stripes are very accurate. And we have interior detail with yellow seats. And if you really want to, you can add a lighting kit to these. I don't know if I will though, because usually when I open cars up, I end up ruining them, but we'll see. On the A end side of the car, you have much of the same detail as the B end minus the door. Because you have the beautiful Amtrak logo here, we have separately applied grab irons here, only on side A. And that's pretty much the difference for side A. And obviously we have the marker light sockets, the door diaphragm, the door with the window, the Protomax coupler, the MU cable area, and step ladders and trucks. Now lastly, let's take a look at the underside of this car. Now as we take a look at the underside of the car, we have the inside bearing trucks and a lot of detail, just as much detail as Rapido's products. I don't know what all of them are called, I just know there's air reservoirs, piping, water tank, things like that. Now in terms of performance, this car is not going to roll good unless you lubricate the wheels and, and axles. It even says on the on the exploded parts diagram what you should do before running this car. And lastly, what you also get in the box is a big sheet of decals. with your five digit car numbers. But I'm afraid I'm not going to decal my cars because I'm going to end up ruining the car and I don't want to do that. It's not just numbers, you got the names of the cars. Coach class, business class, things like that. And you have Handicap logos. Okay. So, yeah, I'll leave you with that run by.
overall, I recommend these cars. And these cars are so detailed, they actually look like Amtrak purchased them from the shop and then shrunk them down. That's how good they look. And what's best of all, we have a plated finish appearance and it looks awesome. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.